We sna, everybody. We sna. We came, we sna, we conquered. Good to see you, Aggie. <clears throat> uh, that's interesting. It's so strange. My mic... My mic goes through phases, I feel like. Sometimes it's extra sensitive. Uh, tonight... I don't know, is it like in a different place on my desk or something? Maybe I'm just not talking as loud. But, uh, yeah. Quieter than normal. I guess I'll turn it up just a scotch. Wonderful. Alrighty. Audio's looking decent. Let's go ahead and get her started. Awe Amiki, my name is Faustus Marius Incatatus, the true consul of Rome, the favorite horse of the god Emperor Caligula. I hope you are having a fantastic, uh, fantastic Sunday. Maybe it's Monday for you already. But I hope it was a good weekend for you. I am, uh, not ready for the weekend to be over, not in the slightest. Vacations are, vacations are hard. It's, it, it's difficult to enjoy a vacation knowing that you have to go back at the end of it, you know? And it's just so much more difficult as compared to a normal weekend. Really, uh, you know, really, really starting off on a positive note, not being a doomer at all. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I, I, I had spring break this, uh, this week. Well, the entire school district had spring break this week, so I didn't really do much of anything. Had a nice relaxing week. No, now it's over. Back to work starting tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. Is it better to have loved your vacation and lost it, or to have not had one at all, is the question. I think is one of life's big questions. You know, I, I, I say, I say, it's easy for me to say at the end of a long vacation, man, I kind of wish I didn't have this at all. I feel like I can at least take comfort in knowing there won't be any kids at work tomorrow. Oh, do they have, a, do they have Easter Monday off? That's nice. Uh... Yeah, the District Diamond doesn't do that. They're going to be back tomorrow. Uh, yeah, the, the days when the kids aren't there are, are pretty fantastic. Not bad at all. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very easy for me to say at the end of a long vacation, man, I wish I didn't have one at all. But if I never got one at all, I'm sure I would be really wanting one. So, the grass is always greener. Our dumb, stupid brains will always play tricks on us, make us want what we can't have, make us resent what we do have, and take it for granted. It's just the way it goes in these flesh prisons. Anyways, hope you are having a fantastic weekend. Um, I was devastated to learn. I, I, I looked it up. You know what? Actually, we'll just uh, we'll pop into Stardew Valley, because I don't have too much more to say. Um, I looked it up. The festival that was added in the 1.6 patch that I was really excited to check out. It's not until winter. I had kind of hoped it would be in the summer. It is not until winter. So we're going to have to put the uh, put the tentacles on hold. You know, just kind of sit on them for a little while. Let them go nice and numb. We break the tentacles out when the temperatures go down. That's when Squid Fest goes down as well. So we have a couple days left before summer starts. Um... I always, let's see, do we have audio? It's it's rather quiet, but it's there. 
I always like the end of uh, seasons in Stardew because you can kind of stop giving a shit about your crops, <laughs> um, and you can you know plan out what you're going to be doing next season. It's uh, it, it's pretty nice. Gonna rain all day tomorrow. That makes things even easier. We'll probably definitely go down into the mines tomorrow then. Turn this up just a scotch. There we go. Spirits somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. We won't bother going down into the mines today then. Oh, yeah. Look at that pollen. Um, so, yeah, we won't bother replanting anything here. Hmm. I could give a bunch of parsnips to Pam. It's her favorite vegetable for some reason. Hi, Yenipur! Oh my god, she's so cute. Okay. But nah, I want the cold hard cash. I'm kind of... I know, like, it's probably suboptimal to sort of ignore relationships with the villagers at, le at the start of the game, but... It's just like, yeah, need, need that Sigma farmer grind set, you know, need to maximize my, uh, need to maximize my earning potential. Um, oh shit. Right. And we had the fairy, so I'm not sure if I'll be getting another, not sure I'll be getting another strawberry crop or not. Oh yeah. We got cows. I forgot we got cows. Let's go on. They're still babies. Right, I think I... Born to farm life as a field. <laughs> 135 crops harvested. Born to farm, life is a county fair. Okay. So yeah, plan is definitely going to be to uh, expand the fields a little bit. Probably want to be using all of the space pretty efficiently, so... I think... And I'll probably end up making more of these, but, uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. So I'm gonna get one more strawberry crop, I'm gonna hold on to it so I can uh, do seeds. Hopefully get the greenhouse going and uh, get some strawberries. I think I can get the greenhouse. Well, that's the other thing I need to check. That's the other thing I need to check. Uh, first, we'll let the chimkin out. <clears throat> so yeah, I need to at least check on the community bundles. And again, kind of just a peculiarity of how I play Stardew. I, I don't really bother with the spring community bundles. If you're really, really sweaty, you can... Uh... Oh, and you, and you select the option to get a red cabbage sometime in year one. You can get the entire community center done in the first year. I don't bother with that. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot to do. Um... But ideally, we'll start caring about the community center in summer, and hopefully, can get the community center knocked out pretty much in fall of year. Or, uh, yeah, I, I could do it in. I could do it in spring of year two. I think I feel like, but yeah, that's kind of one of one of the things I wanted to go check out. Just so I sort of have an idea of what I need to be looking for. Um, I'll probably just. Probably just fish for a lot of today. Always wishing I was fishing. But yeah, if you're totally unfamiliar with Stardew Valley, which I don't think there are a lot of people like that, but um, yeah, if you're totally unfamiliar with Stardew, uh, one of the main mechanics is you have these bundles in the community center. But actually, I haven't even unlocked the new bundles. Uh-huh. Spring foraging bundle. I could try and get this knocked out. Bridge repair is nice. 
I think it's the crops that give you the greenhouse. Construction bundle. It just wants a lot of wood, some stone, some hardwood. That's an easy one to do. Exotic foraging. Aha. Uh -huh. This one might be a little bit more of a pain in the ass. Eh, it's easy to get the uh it's easy to get the three syrups. And you know, we've come across cave carrots, cactus fruit coconuts. They're easy to get. Yeah, that one's not bad. Yeah, I might uh might kind of cruise around and look to at least finish the spring foraging bundle, just so I don't have to worry about it. Like I said, yeah, goal is gonna be, I think, to get the uh get the community center done in spring of year two. Trouble with this is the foraging's a little foraging's a little strange. Like some stuff only shows up certain parts of the season and like it'll show up all season but it's really rare if it's not like the exact right time of the season so hey there's a leak i think leak is one of the ones that it's kind of hard to find sometimes oh look at this we got a leak and a horseradish making a liar out of me should we go make friends with linus Befriend your local homeless man. Nothing nothing bad can happen. It's a good find. Always happy when eating wild food. Thank you, yeah. Enjoy that horseradish. Enjoy the uh, scorching pain. Getting horseradishes from a horse. Okay. Actually, lots of leeks and horseradish. That's pretty cool, actually. That, that That's good. So maybe it's going to be the dandelion that are a, a pain in the ass to find now. Which is funny, because yeah, just like a week ago, there's dandelion everywhere. Yeah, another leak. How about that? Might uh, go give a leak to George. He's a big fan. Anyone can take a leak. It uh, takes a very special kind of person to give a leak, you know? Oh, and I should... Ooh. Ooh. Um... Let's see if I... I think the tools will be ready. This is a lot of leaks. And they said my luck would be shitty today. See, don't really want to... Don't really want to do the pickaxe right away, because I'm going to go down into the, into the mines. It'll be raining tomorrow. Um, I might do, might do the hoe, since we're not going to do much farming. Either the hoe or the uh, watering can. Hmm. I need to get my ass over to Clint's, if nothing else. Hi, just joined Glitched Alex Gaming. Ah, well, you didn't miss much. I've, uh, I just started about 10 minutes ago, so. Just checking out the 1.6 patch, doing a, doing a typical Stardew Valley run so far. Um. Like I was saying, I'm excited for Squid Fest, but I was kind of bummed out to uh, kind of bummed out to learn that that's not until winter. I thought it would be maybe a summer thing. Hi, Penny. If you dig in the dirt, you can find some interesting things. One time, I found a really old piece of pottery, brought it to Gunther, and he said it was over a thousand years old. That's pretty impressive. And then the then the scumbag curator made off with it. Oh no, mom's making lentil soup tonight. Oh, I feel ya. I feel ya. Okay. So I'm thinking... You know what? We've got a rainy day coming up. I think now's probably the best chance. And I'm not going to care about watering crops on the last day of the season, so yeah. We will, uh, we will get the watering can upgraded. On year five, started a month ago. Let's go. Yeah, I, uh, I think I got to like year seven or eight or something on on my first Stardew Valley save. <laughs> started fresh for the stream, obviously, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it gets pretty ridiculous, especially once you get like the wine production pipeline going. Got all your pigs producing truffles. 
Uh, right, we were going to give George a leak. Hey, crotchety old man. Feel better. This is my favorite thing. Thank you. I like it even more than yelling at the kids on my lawn. And George likes that a whole lot. <laughs> Who'd you end up marrying, uh, Alex? <laughs> or did, did you marry Alex? Uh, he's, he's not a terrible bachelor, I guess. He could do worse than Alex. Alright. Let's see if we can hunt down a dandelion and finish up the spring bundle here. Again, I think it might be... Hey! Let's go. Alright. And it's just as shrimple as that. Probably turn the construction bundle in, too, if I really wanted to. I forget what you get for that one. Um, I'm a little, little loath to give up that much building material this early on in the run. Let's see. Sirloin and New York Strip. That's what I named the other one. trees planted. <clears throat> One of the nice things that they changed in the most recent patch is, uh, uh, okay, we still got, no, the, okay. So I'd say we've only got three chickens, but they're two on top of each other. This actually doing this at night, like closing the door behind them actually gives you a little affection, which I think is a wonderful change. I did it anyways, even beforehand, just because it was, I don't know, a compulsion, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I would need to gather a lot more stone to do the bundle. You do it to protect them from cat yeeny. Uh, correct. Yeah. <clears throat> one day you just you come back and one of the chickens is missing. Not, not even any blood or bones or anything. She eats all of it. She eats all of it, every single little bit. One of the chickens is missing, and uh, Cat Yeenie looks fat and happy. Alright, so yeah, we'll finish the foraging bundle, and I think every bundle you finish, like, unlocks one of the other bundle categories, so it's good to get a few done, just so uh, you know. Just so you know what you're working with here. I didn't set it on randomized bundles or anything, but I can't remember. Can't remember everything. Boom, and boom. Bundle complete. Thirty spring seeds. Moderately useful, I guess, maybe? Nice, okay, this is the crops one, and this was the one I was kind of curious about. Oh, it also unlocked the fish one. Might check this one out, too. Okay, so yeah. Spring crops, they want a parsnip, a green bean, a cauliflower, and a potato. There's the artisan bundle. Honey cheese, goat cheese, yeah, this will this will be really easy to knock out, especially because we have the fruit bat cave. I think we can do. We'll get all of this eventually. We don't even have to bother with the uh, the crafted goods. Speaking of, I should check on the fruit bat cave. I need to clear a path to the fruit bat cave actually. Um, so yeah, we got spring, animal, fall, quality crops is another big one. They want. Five quality parsnips. You can actually finish this with uh, three. So, Superhero 60. How's it going? Good to see you. 
I'm doing pretty well. Like I was saying, I was a little sad to learn that Squid Fest is not until winter, but, you know. We ball. We ball. Alright. Let's work on getting uh, five gold star melons for uh, the summer, and then uh, corn and pumpkins. Actually, corn you can do in the uh, summer, too. So we'll, part, we'll plant some melons, we'll plant some corn, we'll be sure to use fertilizer. That should be an easy one to knock out. Then for the summer bundle, they're looking for tomatoes, peppers, blueberries, and melons. Easy. I can't remember, is there a spring fishing bundle? I forget how the fish works. Oh, no, no, no. But I think there are some fish that only show up in the spring. I want sunfish, catfish, shad, and tiger trout. I know we can get sunfish and shad in the river right now. Lake fish, largemouth bass, carp, bullhead. We can get all of these except for sturgeon. I'm pretty sure sturgeon is in the fall. Eh, sardine, tuna, red snapper, tilapia, easy. And the crab pot bundle, which is kind of a pain. I don't like crab pots in this game. I've never used, really used crab pots. Anyways. Um, we'll probably go down into the mines. Unless, like, the luck is just terrible tomorrow. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Say mo ha 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 ha. There you go. It has been said. Ooh, and once I get some iron, <laughs> once I get some iron and maybe a better axe to cut hardwood more efficiently, we'll get a horse. My favorite. Yep, all that should be... Oh yeah, I wanted to try and clear a path to the uh, bat cave. Before it gets too dark here. Oh yeah. Wonderful! Oh yeah, look at that. Some salmon berries, some wild plums, oranges, apricots. Hmm. Am I using my preserves jars? Fuck yeah, bats. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about stopping here in bat country. Um... Could just throw the apricot and the uh, and the orange into the specialty bundle, but I think I'll just take the cash right now. Who you want to marry? That's a good question. I was thinking about leaving that up to the viewers, honestly. Um, on my file that I played for like seven years, I married Abigail, and that's a pretty good one. But I'm open to marry anyone. Oh, that's not what I wanted. No, fortune teller. Very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Well, I think we can at least get to the next level. We can, we, or the next fifth level, you know. Oh, and you're done. Pickled green beans. A jar of your homemade pickles. Sure, we'll take those down into the mines. Why not? Hmm. Actually, the kale's really fantastic for healing. The farmer yearns for the mines, uh-huh. Yeah, I think I'll take the kale down into the mines. All hail kale. Okay, I'm not gonna need... Just gonna need that stuff for the mines. We'll take the kale. Pick up the strawberries. Probably sell the uh, any gold star strawberries we have. The one gold star strawberry we have. 
then yeah, we just we hold on to the rest of these and make seeds out of them. When the time comes. Alright. I don't love going on a bad luck day, but um we can make it work. Alright, yep. Kale and raw eggs, the breakfast of champions. That's how we're going to conquer the mines today. <laughs> hmm. Oh, I have a 90s kid fact that just sprang to mind. So, uh... You know, people people know kale nowadays, right? It's a, it's a, it's a popular health food sort of thing, you know? Diet conscious... People eat it. Um, didn't always used to be that way. It was actually fairly unknown. Uh, would anybody like to guess? Would anybody like to guess who the number one purchaser of kale in the United States was in like the 90s? In the 1990s? Anyone want to take a guess? This was fascinating to me when I found out about it. We'll give people like a minute to take their guesses, but uh, yeah. Very interesting fact to me. Oh, this is the the dark. Uh-huh. This one's kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, so we're not gonna not gonna expect much ore. It's singular person state or industry? Uh company. Company. It was a it was a singular company. Oh yeah, this is this is rough. Dealing with bats with the dagger is the worst. Come here. Oh yeah, I don't I don't know if we're gonna make it five levels this way. Yep, it was a it was a singular company that was the largest uh, purchaser, consumer, user of kale. Holy shit! What's even? I can't see what's attacking me. Kill it! Just stab it until it dies. Just just stab until it stops moving. Stab until it stops moving. There we go. Was it Pizza Hut? It was Pizza Hut! Yes! How did you know? Is that some Google Foo or did you actually guess? Yeah, it was Pizza Hut. Yeah, they... They didn't put it on their pizzas. They didn't actually, like, eat the kale or anything. Saw a meme about it somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they didn't actually like put it on the pizzas or anything. They used the kale as like the garnish for their salad bar. If that makes sense. Like, you have to have seen a Pizza Hut salad bar to really get it. But yeah, like all of the salad... Oh, that was probably what we were shanking to death in the dark there. Yep, you're making the same noises. Yeah, they decorated the bar with it pretty much. Yeah, like all of the all of the salad bowls had were like on a bed of of leaves and those leaves were kale. Hello Wolfie. Good to see you two days in a row. So yeah, the Cabadon method works with these guys too. You just pin them to the wall and yeah, and you go to town. Oh, 
Oh wow, an Omni Geode. I was pretty lucky on this level. I don't have school, nice. How about you Cabadon't? Oh. Uh, how about I Cabadoo? Yabba Cabadoo. Oh man, this is like the biggest pain in the ass. Ten levels in the mine. Actually, I think it's only five levels. And it starts turning into like lava. After 35. Oh, he dropped the ladder. Very nice. That's nice. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people have Easter Monday off. Happy Easter, by the way, for those that celebrate. I just realized I forgot to open with that, but uh, yeah. Yeah, nice to have that Easter Monday for sure. Ooh, getting some iron ore. We're, we're not going to bother. 320. Uh, I'll clear this floor, but I'm probably not going to do too much more. Need to come back with a glow ring or something. I think... Oh, look at me. Look at me going. You know what? If we're if we're making some good time, if I if I manage to oh, this might be a this might be a nope. This might be a big nope. Come on. There we go. Yeah, use the use the flurry attack. Ah. God. Huh. That flurry attack's actually pretty strong. Come on. What a pain. Oh no! Alright, alright, push him back, push him back. Cabadon, Cabadon, Cabadon! Ah, it's not the size of the weapon, it's how you use it! Fast and furious, baby, fast and furious! Come here. I said I was going to stop at 35. I have an all-consuming desire to be done with these uh, awful, awful levels. I never come back to the 30s. Never, ever. There's nothing worthwhile down here. If I need to farm copper, there's other places to do it. Please. Getting the hang of that uh of that dagger though. Actually feels pretty good.
Still don't have the timing quite down so that I don't take damage when they come at me, but... Yeah, yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. Actually, can I make some explosives? You know what? This might be worth the uh, copper ore. If they're going to be really tightly bunched like that. Yeah. Okay, we'll come back for that. I just want to get the coal that's at the end of this mine, uh, mine cart track. Yeah. Oh, wow. They're, uh, they're guarding that. Oh man. Oh man, where was it? Oh man, where was it? There we go. Oh, this is... This is gonna be real close. so close. I'm so close. Just, just give me the damn, give me the damn, give me the damn ladder here. Come on. Worst part about it is the knowledge that very possible the ladder's already, yep, there's the ladder. Fuck yeah. Get the slingshot. A moderately useful item. Cool. And the best part, the absolute best part again, is that we never have to deal with the floors 30 through 39 again. That's actually a, it was a pretty decent mind trip, especially for a day with bad luck. Um, like that Omni Geode actually a, a fantastically lucky drop. But well, we'll see what's inside of it. That'll that'll be the real uh, that'll be the real test of whether it's lucky. To the bottom. So far, there's no sign of the bottom. How low does it go? How low can you go? I, I rarely use the slingshot, to be honest. Yeah, that was not a bad trip to the uh, mines. Not at all. So last day of spring. Last day of spring. Probably want to at least figure out your copper watering can's ready. Perfect. All right. So yeah, we don't don't need to bother watering uh, anything. I kind of want to figure out what my crop setup is gonna be though. So yeah, it's... remind me to uh, do Uniper's water bowl here once I get the watering can back. So yeah, I'm thinking uh thinking I want to figure out my layout. That's fine. All right. So it might be a matter of make more scarecrows. Uh, Fifty wood, one coal, and twenty fiber should have a, should have that. Oh. Guess I'll chop down some trees.
it would be really nice if you could like actually do your layout <laughs> the day before the uh, season starts, but uh, unfortunately it doesn't work like that. I mean, you can sort of rough it out and then it's not all going to go away, but every time the season changes, you just get a ton of debris and stuff on your farm, so... It's almost not worth uh, to do any uh, actual work on the layout. Oh, Woody's secret. Felled trees have a 5% chance to yield double wood. Where did I get that? Did I just get that from cutting down a... Learned a new power. Okay. I think I just got that from cutting down a tree. That's pretty hype. Touch the cows. Do it nows. tree and I'll have enough for two scarecrows. Getting some glorious wood here. Oh yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking, the way I have it right now, this could be widened significantly. Um, we can also go down, we could have it eight ranks here. Um, Cause yeah, Scarecrows always have a radius of eight. So we could have eight ranks here and we are what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, I think. Sounds right. Yeah, I think so. So we could do... Yeah, we'll probably take it down to eight ranks. So two more ranks here, and then probably push you back a little bit. And what I might do... I might just, like, lay out the... One, two, three, four, five... Six... Seven, eight. I think this is what we're going to do. Then we'll have eight ranks, so seven, eight. We'll just kind of have the scarecrows on our boundaries here. That should be sufficient. All right, see, so yeah, we're just gonna have like a big field like right here. It's gonna be what? I should figure this out. Whoa, no, 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 no. So we're going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> I'm gonna move it one over because I can't stand, uh, can't stand having an odd number. Fourteen. All right, so it's going to be an 8 by 14 field, so that's, uh, what? 8 by 14 is 116? Whoa. No, oh, bad math, bad math. 112. All right, so we need 112 seeds to fill up this field. We can do that, we can do that. Multiples of eight, hopefully. Hmm. 
<laughs> uh, I know it's silly, but the uh, the math and symmetry part of arranging the fields is one of my favorites. <laughs> it's very silly, but it is what it is. So yeah, we'll buy 112 seeds from Pierre. Yeah, that should be decent. That should be decent. I also need to start thinking about sprinklers. You're a Pelican Town for 20 years. You sure have, buddy. You sure have. <laughs> um, what am I even looking for? Totally lost my train of thought. Why did I come to town? <laughs> oh, oh God. Looking for a handsome young man to bring me car. Oh, I, I, I came to pick up my watering can is why I came to town. Seeds? Nope, no seeds. Seeds, summer seeds are not available until the first of summer. Because everybody knows, like, farmers are all about just winging it. Um, we'll probably hold off on getting any uh, any new any new tools just because I'm gonna need them all here to clear out the farm and get everything planted. But once it's planted, we'll keep uh, we'll keep upgrading the tools. Don't forget cat water. Thank you very much. Better than being dog water, I guess. Um. Oh yeah, and Haley wanted a carp. We get a prize ticket from it, so let's go do that. Hi. Hey, you've made another week of progress on the farm. Seems like things are going well for you. Oh, if, if only you knew. If only you knew, Maru. Maybe I'll marry Maru so she can move to the farm and see uh, how wrong she is. I think that's a perfectly reasonable reason to, uh, to marry someone. Just to prove them wrong. If Yini ever gets married, that's probably the reason she will marry someone. Prove herself right in some sort of an argument. Here, fishy fishy. Oh yeah, this feels like a carp. This feels like a carp. Don't even have to don't even have to move. Perfect. Hey Demetrius. It's good to take a break from work every now and then. Absolutely. Guess that's kinda of difficult when you live on a farm though. Uh you have no idea. Hey, at least in the winter you don't have to worry about crops. True. Just have to worry about snowballing wild winter seeds. Mm, yeah. Okay, it is Kaylee. Er, <laughs> Kaylee. Haley, who wants the carp. Kaylee doesn't want the harp, Haley wants the carp. Alright. Here's your uh here's your ugly oily fish. I wonder what you have in mind for this, honestly. What's up, Marnie? Not tending your shop again, I see. It's good to see ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. Oh, well, that's exactly what I needed. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm so happy. What are you planning to do with the carp, Haley? I really wonder. Nice. Got a prize ticket. Bring this to the prize machine in Lewis's house for a special reward. Let's do that. This is new.
Mm hmm. Summer squash seeds. Ooh, is that some kind of tree? Oh shit. Okay. Plant in summer, takes six days to grow, continues to produce after first harvest. Hey, let's go. So we got the uh, we got the summer foraging bundle or sorry spring foraging bundle taken care of. Uh, nothing else I think I want to do other than water the cat. That 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 might be really nice actually. That's a new crop. falls in the right direction. Okay, and I should have a good bit of sap. Oh, I am the I am the sappiest. Alright, let's see. So I can make 80 fertilizer. Hmm. I'll do... yeah, I'll do 80. Alright, so yeah, the Scarecrow's kind of bound what we're going to be, uh, what the size of our field is going to be. It's again 14 by 8, so that's 112 crops. Looking good, looking good. <laughs> uh, I actually get like I still get a little stressed out like that seasons change just like uh, the the amount of work gets overwhelming especially once you start like really going big on the uh, on the number of crops you're growing that away I think I will make some mayonnaise overnight, and we can just chug jars of mayonnaise if we uh, if we get tired while we are doing our summer planting. Sounds good to me. <coughs> Okie dokie. Clear and sunny all day tomorrow. Spirits in good good humor today, of course. Omelette. Such a simple dish, but so often done incorrectly. Perfect omelette is a thing of beauty. It's a pure golden angel of gleaming egg, and I'm going to show you my secret method. Wonderful. Alright, summer, here we come. I really like the summer music in this game, too. I think it's the best. Welcome to living off the land. All your spring crops are dead, lol. Summer's here, along with a whole slew of new crops to plant. Take hops, for example. The vines take a while to grow, but once they're mature, they can be harvested every day. Good luck. Yeah, um, hops are better for second year. I don't think I've unlocked kegs yet, have I? Spirits are very happy today. Uh-huh. Storm is approaching tomorrow. Nice, so I won't have to water. But yeah, you can see all the debris that gets strewn everywhere. It's actually not too bad, at least on the field. Okay. Let's get hoeing. Mixed flower seeds. Plant them and see what grows, sure. 
Oh, it has to be actually on tilled ground, huh? Alright, well, we'll come back later to that. That's new, though. Because I think before, flowers couldn't grow in, like, the mixed seeds. So that makes sense why they did that. Oh yeah, I am the hoe master. Yeah, this is a respectable amount of crops. This plus the animal products, not bad. Speaking of animal products, we should probably let them out before I get too carried away. Don't suppose they've matured yet? No, certainly not. Naming the cows sirloin in New York Strip uh, reminded me of a friend I had when I was little. She lived on a farm, pretty much, and uh, she had a she had a goat she was like raising for 4-H, and she named the thing Barbecue. I was uh, I, that made me very sad when I was little, but I, I find it hilarious now. So can't help but uh, can't help but think of her when I see the uh, <laughs> see the cows named that way. All right. Um, should I do the watering now? I'll do the watering now. Yeah, check this shit out. Check this shit out. Now we can... Now we can be efficient with it. Look at that. It's a little faster. It gets a lot faster. Like, if I had upgraded the hoe, I'd be able to hoe in the same pattern, like the three in front of me. Once you get the, uh, once you get the iron tools, that's when it starts really getting nice, because you can do, like, I think the nine in front of you? It's like a whole square in front of you. And then the, uh, the frickin' iridium tools, man. That's the highest level, and they do, like, I think it's like the 18 tiles in front of you. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Definitely good reason to upgrade the tools. Okay. Stuff, good stuff. We just need to put the uh, fertilizer down and uh, we are done planting. Well, put the fertilizer down and then go actually grab seeds. Yep. Have a refreshing drink of mayonnaise in this in this hot summer weather. That's 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 a good way to keep yourself going. <laughs> May I offer you some mayonnaise in these trying times? Cool. And we won't forget the cat water. Throw down the fertilizer here. So last few rows will kind of be shitties that we don't uh, we don't really bother fertilizing. And that's fine. <laughs> 
That's fine. If I wanted to spend, I guess I could buy enough fertilizer for the rest of it. Be what? 80, 88, 96, 104, yeah, 112. Yeah, we'll see how much it costs. We'll see what we'll see see what our budget is like. Okay, so yeah, I need to remember I do have the 12 summer squash seeds already. Uh, might just buy another 12 of something else. Have three nice rows there. Show me what you got, Pierre. Melons. We need a uh, we need a lot of melons. Uh, tomatoes, very good. Tomatoes and blueberries, both good. Cause uh, actually, all of these continue to produce after the first harvest. So good way to go. And I probably want to start my corn right away as well. Corn, corn, kitsune. Do two rows of corn. I think maybe, uh, hmm. Um, I'll buy 12 radishes. We'll do that. Okay, so I'm sitting at 40 right now. So that means I need, uh, another 72. I'm kind of inclined. Could just do 24 each of these. I think I could afford that. Or no, 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 no. Might do 12 each of the, uh... Well... Hmm... God, math. Math! That's... Tw that's 16. If I get 8... If I recall, blueberries actually aren't, like, amazing, so maybe I'll just do one row of blueberries then. And then pick up 24 tomato seeds and 24 pepper seeds. I think that should be all of the seeds I need. Looking for a farm fresh wheat. Could a local farmer deliver one to me? No, that is actually impossible. That is actually impossible to do. They're usually pretty good about not giving you impossible quests, but I don't think I could grow wheat in two days. Okay, see, so I think we'll have probably renewable stuff over here. We'll do our two rows of corn. Groovy. Um, you continue to produce. You do not. Interesting. Ah, uh, sure. Well, I didn't check the fertilizer, but I couldn't afford enough. I think it's 100 per box, so yeah. Couldn't afford enough to fill out the rest of the field anyways. So that's fine. That's fine. Definitely want the melons on fertilized ground. Uh, probably the blueberries, too. And then we'll do most of the tomatoes on fertilizer. Son of a bitch, I miscounted. Okay, well. Oh, it's gonna be a stretch. I might have to go to Joja. Come on, move, 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 move. Gotta get to Pierre's before 5 p.m. Move, 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 move. Doesn't matter what. Doesn't matter what. Just need something. Abigail, out of my fucking way. Go, 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 go. Yes! 
Um, sure. Should we grow some poppies? Grow, grow sunflowers. We have enough. We have enough for it. Um. Eh, eh. I'm gonna come in like uh, you know ten minutes before you close, Pierre, and I'm gonna be real indecisive about what I want. Let's do poppies. Very nice. That wasn't actually so bad. Again, this gets really fucking ridiculous the more you're planting, or trying to plant on a single day. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I did miscount. <laughs> I did miscount. So yeah, we have, well, we have a nice even 120 crops here. I like that. I like that at least. I want to get this pickaxe upgraded as soon as I can. Um, yeah, once I have a thousand gold to throw around, I think I'll do that. Mm, probably the blackberry is better, and then we'll definitely throw the apple into the preserves. And, oh, what the hell. Okay. We'll plant our wildflowers here, why not? Purtify it. Okay, not so bad. Not so bad. I think it's trying to sleep. You know, while I uh, while I still have a little bit of sort of light, <laughs> you know, civil twilight, but not quite a nautical twilight yet. We will uh, just kind of walk around a little bit, look for some forage. So TV said, uh, "TV said luck was going to be good today." Ah, wonderful. Great. Got a vampire. Everyone is so happy in the sun. I don't get it. I'm really unhappy in the sun. Because I, <laughs> I burned to ash. It's really a bummer. Man, those freaking conformists that can go out in the sun. Drinking their non-blood beverages. I will say, though, you know that Sebastian probably has some fantastic pairs of programming socks. That's how he supports himself. He does, uh, he does some uh, programming gigs on the side. So, you know he's probably got some fantastic, fantastic socks. Are you winning? <laughs> Only fans? Yep, yep. <laughs> yes, he's uh, he's working on his computer all day. <laughs> For all them thirsty goth girls. I 
there is no there is no winning or losing in Stardew Valley, Yoshi. It's all it's all about being in tune with nature. Slash uh, you know, ruthlessly exploiting the natural world. I believe the term <laughs> I believe the term of art is that he is an accountant. Aha. He is definitely overseeing some money changing hands, no doubt. Alright. Just need to find a sweet pea. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll probably uh I'll probably put up a poll at some point about who I should marry. Uh hopefully not Sebastian, but uh you know, now, now I've said that, now I've said that, you fuckers are certainly going to vote for him. That's alright. That's alright. I can, I can deal with a vampire in my home. Oh yeah, we've got the, we've got the astronomical twilight now. Groovy. And it's going to rain tomorrow, so that's that's nice and convenient. I don't have to water. Pet the Uniper. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Every time I want to go down into the mines. Every time. <clears throat> Ooh. And the cows are mature. Nice. I can milk them. Chimkins are angry at me, only giving me the small eggs. Alright, we'll take milk and eggs into the mine, that should be enough to keep us alive. Especially because I think the next few floors are not nearly as difficult as the ones we were just in. Alright, axe, ho, pickaxe, windspire. Alright, yeah, we'll head to the mines. Why not? The other thing I could possibly do... I don't think I have the fishing for it. I think rainy weather is when the eels come out at the beach. So I could, could fish for one of those, but they're a huge, huge pain in the ass. Oh no, it's not eels, it's octopi. Or octopodes, I guess, would be the, uh, octopodes would be the correct plural. Um, yeah, you know, you can fish for octopus in the rainy weather in the summer, I think. Um, but they are a huge pain in the ass. They're like the most difficult fish outside the legendaries. Oh yeah, the rocks are harder here now. Come here. Come here. God. <laughs> I 
hate daggers. I hate daggers. Please give me a respectable weapon. Please give me a respectable weapon. Come on. Come on. Oh, boy. This is good. We're getting some iron. We're getting some iron. I need iron to get a stable. We'll get our most stable friend once we have acquired a stable. Yeah, I need to need to upgrade the pickaxe. This is this is not good. I don't think I even have the survival to make a, uh, a bigger bomb out of the iron ore. How does that work, I wonder? It's like coal and it's iron ore to make a bomb. <laughs> don't Google that, please. Please do not, uh, please do not type into Google, uh, you know, any sort of query on how to, uh, construct that sort of thing. I feel like I shouldn't have to say it, but I probably should say it. The state really loves its monopoly on violence. It really, really does. They get... your FBI agent gets very sad when it looks like you might take that away. Don't break your FBI agent's heart, yeah? probably a pretty tough slime here uh, but as long as we practice the cabadon method I think we'll be fine all right yep yep get him against that wall that works too yeah just get him against a wall doesn't matter doesn't matter as long as we're cabadoning yes perfect the wall with you. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh no, he escaped the Cabadon. Okay, I think as soon as I've got 2,000 gold, we are upgrading the pickaxe, because this, uh, this is rough. And this is the shitty luck coming into play. It's going to be the very last rock I break. You just know it is. Oh, here come the friggin' bats. It's literally the last rock. Yep. Milk and raw eggs. Fuck. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Perfect Cabadon. Yes. Oh, it would be be real cool if you gave me a break and actually had the uh, had the ladder be visible. That would be real cool of ya. Uh. Uh. 
Not a, uh, not a masterfully executed Cabadon, but, you know. Serviceable. Five out of seven, perhaps. Um, yeah, I can't make a bomb, can I? Nope. Yep, that's it. Fuck. I just needed like one more consumable. Or some bombs. Yep, that's it. Big failure. just uh, wander around a little bit, look for a sweet pea to complete the bundle. If I recall, the sweet peas are much more common in the latter half of the season, but we might get lucky. One less thing to think about. Excuse me? But why? Wasn't a crow that got it. Oh, it was a lightning strike. Oh, man. That's... That's real annoying. Should probably get off the farm before it rolls another lightning strike. So yeah, we're just kind of cruising around looking for a looking for a little bit of forage. Forest floor is once an, once again an overgrown mess. What kind of hats do you have available, my fine mousy sir? Ooh, got the good old cap. Floppy old topper with a creased bill looks like it's been through a lot. Get a watermelon band, that's adorable. Yeah, you know. Southwester actually would be uh, good for today. Like might be uh, no dice on the sweet pea. Fair enough. So yeah, I should make a little bit of cash today, and then tomorrow we'll uh, we'll take the pickaxe into Clint and uh, make it suck a little less. Just a little, though. The Bogdanovs do not want uh, my life getting too easy, right?
Fair enough. <laughs> no, I did not want to shank the cat. Right. Yeah, nothing we didn't already know on the TV. Ooh. Ooh. There was an earthquake during the night. Mm-hmm. I forget what that one does. I have to have a look around the farm and see, uh, see if something happened. Yeah, I already know how to cook stir-fry. Be clear and sunny tomorrow. How's my luck? Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Okay. Inky, this is embarrassing. I lost my lucky purple shorts. I'm telling you because I think I can trust you. If you find them, bring them back to me discreetly. I'll pay well. Thanks, Mayor Lewis. Oh, Lewis. Oh, Lewis. What a, what a blunder. What a blunder you've made. What a fool you are. Oh, yeah. Forgot we have our new swag and watering can. good tools. I miss my good tools. I could just, you know, I could just like cheat in. I would just need to cheat in what? Like 25 iridium bars and like 100,000 gold. And I could have all, I could have all the good tools again. Some cheese makers, probably. Um, need ten hardwood and a copper bar. Yeah, I think I got that. So woodstone, hardwood, and copper bars. Hardwood's going to be the stumbling block there. I have six, so yeah, we need to get some more hardwood. Yeah. Getting done with the chores before noon is usually pretty good in Stardew Valley. 
I only have to work for like, you know, only need to do like five hours of backbreaking work first thing in the morning. That's a, that's a vacation. All right. Um, yeah, yeah. Could gather up some hardwood. I think I will make the cheese makers. Already sold today's milk, but, uh, you know, I can start doing the rest. Oh, right. And I was going to... I was going to upgrade my pickaxe as well. Should probably do that before I forget about it. Shankar vibes. <laughs> but I like it. Like I said, I like all of the music in summer. Need a gold bar to rub on my sore head. Please bring me one ASAP. Emily... I don't know what to tell you. Well, actually I might have enough. There's no consequences to not completing these, so... I think I might have enough uh, gold ore to make one bar, so... And that is overpaying for it quite considerably, so we'll do it. Ah, uh, yes. Want the copper pickaxe. Hey, sweet pea. Some new ideas to sleep on. Hmm. I came for the sound of the ocean. Beautiful, isn't it? Are you, like, drawing the uh, barrel of fish guts that Willie has next to his shop? That's some realist art right there. I'm into it. Yep, she is drawing the barrel of fish guts. Like sketching fish in a barrel. I thought that was a cockle. <laughs> it's a muscle. Not a cockle. Oh, speaking of... <laughs> uh, have people seen the... Uh, have, have people seen that the new... Uh, the new banger infomercial from Phil Swift just dropped? Remember to cover your mouth when you sneeze. Uh-huh. Have everything you need for the farm. It's nice of you to uh, to advertise your husband's shop. This is genuinely nice of you. If not, we might be able to help you out. We carry a variety of useful items. You sure do. You sure do, Caroline. What's that cave experiment coming along? Has it produced anything of value yet? Yeah, yeah. That means the conditions must be more suitable than I originally theorized. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Exposes me to a ton of guano. It's it's great. Alright, so yeah, I can throw these in for the crab pot bundle. I can finish the summer uh, forage bundle. And that'll hopefully unlock some of the other stuff. Thirty summer seeds, wonderful.
Is the reward for finishing pantry the greenhouse? Yeah, okay. It's probably not going to get that until spring of next year. Definitely won't get it until spring of next year. Fair enough. Some of the furnace ones are alright too. Yeah, repair the minecarts. 10 bat wings, 99 slimes, or a solar and a void essence. We're going to be getting uh, void essences and solar essences pretty soon once we make some progress into the mines. So that's an easy one. Yep, they want a copper, an iron, and a gold bar. Also pretty easy to do. Quartz, earth crystal, frozen tier. We have all of this except for fire quartz. So yeah, this is a very easy one to finish. And it repairs the mine carts, gives you some fast travel around town. We will, uh, we'll prioritize that, definitely. First, though, I need to see if I have enough flux of gold to make a, make a single gold ingot that Emily can uh, bash herself over the head with. Emily's pretty wonderful. Alright. Show me... I have two gold ore. So unless I get really lucky and like pull some up while I'm fishing, that's probably not going to be a completable request. Oh well. Uh, if I don't want to be lazy, I could plant these summer seeds right now. Um... I think there was some, yeah. Water it. I don't think at least. <laughs> Could eat a strawberry. Uh, that would be a huge waste, though. A huge, huge waste. Ah, well. So they don't get watered. There's no, there's no negative effects if you don't water your crops. They just don't grow that day. Ah, uh, yeah. I think that's about all I want to do today. Well, for foraging, hey, can make a tapper and a mushroom log. Interesting. Plus one X proficiency, plus one wild berry harvesting. Uh-huh. Yeah, I should probably make some tappers when I have the time. The, uh, I think it's the oak resin you need to make kegs. Have I unlocked kegs yet? No, I wouldn't expect so. Yeah, kegs are very nice. Blackberry je jelly and apple jelly. Wow, they actually made oh they actually made the jellies like look sort of like what you <laughs> what you put in there. That's a nice that's a nice improvement. Whoa. Oh. Well that's how you get moss. You side the tree. Interesting. I mean makes perfect sense, but yeah. Let's see, did you give me anything good? You did not. You bats are not doing your job. There's Probably some grapes or something I can forage. Put in the uh, put in the preserves jar.
I do need to track them down and milk them, though. Alright, where'd the other one go? Oh, camouflaged. Stealth cow. Getting, I need to water horizontally, not vertically. So we'll do the first three rows and uh, at least sort of not be inefficient. Sorta, of, kinda, maybe. Cool. Then yeah, now, now you hit that. Oh, never closed the chickens in. Okay. Groovy, groovy. That's no idea. Hey, did I get a farming level? Nice. Sick watering 360s again. And then, yeah, I'll need to, uh, hmm. Need to go out and forage a little bit today. Find something to put in the preserves jars over there. Oh. Luckily, I feel like the grapes are worth a lot. Oops. Mmm. Man, grape jelly sounds really good right now. <laughs> I haven't had grape jelly in forever. When I was little, I used to, like, really like the, um, like, you know, the little jelly packets that they have available at diners and stuff. Like, the grape was my absolute favorite of those. Mmm. Man. Man. Fuck. It's making me want to go out and get, like, some grape jelly. Put it on some toast. Alright, I'm on a mission to find grapes now. Like a, a, a cereal grapist or something. Mmm. Grape cereal. Alright. <laughs> Grape jelly on wheat toast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Also, hi, Space Lord. Good to see you. Mmm. Craving it now. whatsoever with the forage today. I can do the spice berries. I, I just think the grape uh, is worth a little more. Uh, yeah, you're gonna give me sweet peas, which I can't use. Hi, 
Hi, Penny. We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. Yeah. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. Because <laughs> my life sucks. Sorry, I got carried away there. It sucks to be Penny. It, it genuinely does suck to be Penny. Oh, yeah. I have n I, I have sympathy for her, absolutely. Imagine, imagine living with the Pam. Pierre, I wonder if I can get Pierre to cook dinner tonight. Hmm. Housework is frustrating because you're never finished. Yeah, true. Day after I sweep the floor, it's dirty again. Especially true if you got children around. Absolutely. Hi, Evelyn. Flower bed's looking fantastic as usual. I'm going to bake cookies today. They're coconut wonders shaped like little palm trees. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, Evelyn. Evelyn, you're like the one villager I can't snark at. She's just too... She's too pure. <laughs> um, yeah. Really not having luck with the forage today. Oh, well. I can do spice berries in the preserves jars. It's not great, but it's something. Another spice berry. Absolutely no luck. Fair enough. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of fishing. That's a decent place to cast. Yeah, it's looking sorta of deep. Nice. Rainbow trout's worth a little bit, if I recall. Rainbow trout is also delicious. Okay, Sunfish I know is one of the ones needed for a bundle, so we'll stop by the community center. Chub I don't think I need for a bundle. Shads I do, but not chubs. <laughs> Always happy to see the shad fish. The uh, shad man is, a, is another story. Another story entirely. Ooh. This is bait. Come on. Yeah. I wish fishing was this easy in real life. I suck at, uh, like, actually casting with a fishing rod. I always, always seem to end up getting the line tangled in the rod when I try and cast it. It's, you know, probably just something I need more practice with, but it is a little, uh, little disheartening. Let's 
it's probably be the last catch for the day, then I'll make a break for the community center, and, uh, yeah. Also need to throw those spice berries in the preserves jars. Imagine making a game about making preserves and having people be interested in it. Having it be one of the best-selling indie games of all time. Lightning in a bottle. Truly, truly. In fact, I think this might be the best-selling indie game of all time. I'd have to I'd have to look into it, but I'm trying to think what would be more. I guess, hmm, maybe Among Us. If Among Us is an indie game, I don't know if Among Us is, a, is an indie game though. Oh, never did the cat water. Okay. Oh yeah, I can drop the uh, I can drop the jelly in the artisan bundle as well, so that'll make things easier. Then I think it's just a matter of a couple more fruits and maybe some cheese, which I am going to get set up that production. I think I can do one cheese maker right now. Maybe another one if I cut down a few more trees. So yeah, cheese maker production. We'll get that online tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Let's... Oh no, this is the foraging bundles. Artisan bundle. Have some blackberry jelly. You don't want my mayonnaise, my my delicious artisan mayonnaise. No interest in it, huh? What animal? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can do a lot here, actually. Oh, they want large eggs. Okay, sure. They want a large milk, too. Hmm, or a duck egg. Fair enough. Okay, I think that's all there. Okay, river fish? Oh, I can do the bream for the night fishing. Very nice. Walleye and eel. And the river fish, yeah, wants a sunfish. Catfish, shad, and tiger trout. Yeah, I don't... Don't think anything else is going to... Slake fish is... Nah. So yeah, tomorrow I just need to cut a little more hardwood, I think, and maybe some normal wood, depend depending on my stocks. And then I will have two cheese makers that I can use, and... You know, make some nice cheese to go along with my preserves. Oh god, that reminds me. That reminds me. I got I got talked into trying something really weird today. Um, so <laughs> this is not a combination I ever would have thought of on my own. Um, and what it was was so take a little chunk of blue cheese and you like smear it on a cracker or something. And then you put raspberry jam on top of it. Blue cheese and raspberry jam. I got tucked into trying it. It was not as bad as I was expecting it to be. It wasn't great. I don't think I'd do it again. Um, the initial flavor worked really well. It was just like, you know, that aftertaste, that kind of really earthy aftertaste that the blue cheese had. That was weird paired with the uh, sweetness of the jam. But apparently that's something that a lot of people do. Um, that was not something I was aware of at all. Uh, but yeah, yeah, like blue cheese and jam or jelly on a on a cracker is, is something I was exposed to today. Um, yeah, I will need to cut a little bit more wood. Fair enough, fair enough. Well, my pickaxe will be ready tomorrow too. 
Yeah, cheese and jam. Don't know what to think of it. Loom, we can make quality retaining soil. Very nice. How much? 250 for that apple jelly. 285 for the mayonnaise. The finished products are where it's at. Capo, okay, made 50k gold. Yeah, yeah, that's that's Uniper's bowl. It sure is. Why do I get the horrible sense that I forgot to finish watering yesterday? Why did I just get that horrible thought? Like, I know I stopped halfway to let the chickens out and refill the watering can. Did I ever finish? I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I hate that. That's like... It's like you go out somewhere and you suddenly wonder if you left the oven on or something like that. Did I leave the oven on? Did I leave my pet outside? <laughs> Did I leave the door unlocked? Uh. I don't think I've ever done anything like really too outrageous in that arena, like forgotten something really important. I, uh, actually the worst one was, uh, I had a cat who was like really old, um, and she she was an out she was like an indoor outdoor cat. She was very sweet. Um, one night I, I I let her out and forgot to let her back in, uh, like the whole night, and it got really cold that night. And she was not in good shape when I found her that morning. That that's fuck. Oh man, I'm feeling awful just thinking about this again. And yeah, like she, she was all right, more or less, but at the same time, like she was a very old cat and after that happened, like her health started really going downhill. Um, she, she died a few months after that happened and yeah, so I don't know, maybe it's just coincidence. That's kind of what I tell myself is, uh, yeah, that was just like, it was coincidence. She, she was a very old cat. She was going to go downhill eventually. And uh, you know, cats are resourceful. They they know how to they know how to survive. She had she had curled up in some bushes. She was preserving her heat. But um, yeah, I always always wonder how much of an effect that actually had on her health. Cause yeah, she started going downhill pretty soon after that. Hate that. Absolutely hate that. Just not knowing if you were the cause. So yeah, that's probably the uh, that's probably the worst thing I've ever forgotten about in that arena, you know. All right. Oh crap! I let the cows out again. Who let the cows out? Moo, 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 moo.
Okay, so yeah, cheese takes 45 wood, 45 stone, 10 hardwood, and 2 copper bar. Or one copper bar. So we'll have to cut a little more light regular wood and track down, a, I think, 4 more stumps to get enough hardwood to make 2. I want to make 2, especially since I'm running 2 cows right now. Drink the silver milk. Okay, should be enough uh, regular wood, so yeah, just need to track down a few stumps. A few of the big stumps. There's one. Let's see. Can I even get access to that? That like part of my farm? Ah, oh, shit, I don't have a pickaxe. I need to go pick up my pickaxe. There's a great source of hardwood, a renewable source of hardwood that I can't get to yet. I think I need a steel axe to get into the secret woods, but uh, yeah. There should be enough hardwood on my farm. Yeah, let me go get a... Let me go get the... A pickaxe before I forget about it. <laughs> Find and return Mayor Lewis's purple shorts. We're going to have to kiss up to uh, Marnie if we want to get the shorts back, unfortunately. Because surprise, surprise, Mayor Lewis left his shorts in Marnie's room. I don't know what you did, but those raccoons haven't been back since last week. Well, you know, I I called them the godless communists they were and uh, threatened them and they, they ran off. Never to return. Never to return, George. Oh yeah, Alex is doing his summer job. Yeah, hell yeah, I'll have a, I'll have some ice cream. Eat it right in front of the children. Really make a big show of how delicious it is. Rub it in the fact that I have ice cream and you do not, small child. Um, let's see. What else, what else? So I have enough... Yeah, just need to get the hardwood for the cheese makers. I think it's two more I need. Let's double check here. Yeah, need to find two more stumps. Four hardwood total. That should be doable. Ooh, I think I can break these uh, rocks now. Nope. I can break these rocks. You can't break those rocks. Ah! Mahogany seed. Nice. We'll plant that right there. Okay, so wood, stone, 
Hardwood. Oh, and I need to make the copper bars, right? Hmm. I did remember to water these. Nice. Cheese press. Nice. Again, all about those finished goods. Mm. Well, yeah, where'd my... Okay. Losing my mind there. I did not see the copper ore in the uh, in the chest, even though it's pretty obvious. All right. Very productive day. Very very productive day. Let's see. Actually, what I might do is I think. I think if you fish during the summertime, you can um, you can perhaps fish up some eels at the beach. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch one, but it's worth a shot. Worth a shot. Also, like, what's what's on the schedule? What's on the schedule? We've got the luau. We got the trout derby. Bookseller. Absolutely. So yeah, we'll go down to the ocean. We'll try and fish us up a uh, an eel. So they're worth a lot. The community center bundle wants one. So yeah. You need to go to the far end of the pier. You need to cast into really deep water here. And we'll see. Again, the eels are slippery bastards so i don't know that i'm gonna be able to catch one but it'd be nice to confirm my uh confirm my suspicions that uh, this is where you catch them uh, off to an auspicious start this is trash we gave it to you because it uh it reminds you of us or it reminds us of you oh yeah oh yeah look at all of this fantastic trash they know what I'm about. They know what I'm about. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're being like that. Could just be because my fishing rod sucks. We could blame the fishing rod. At least give me one. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's an eel. That's an eel. That. Yep. <laughs> and that's that was an eel. Uh huh. It's pretty much what I expected. You have to get a little lucky. You have to get a little lucky with those. Yeah. Slippery, slippery fish. Yeah, if they go in a bad pattern, there's there's no catching them. Oh, you're kind of an interesting pattern, too. I don't think you're an eel, but... Halibut. Think they wanted halibut for the ocean uh, fish bundle? Yeah. Caught 
one whole fish that entire time. So yeah, better fishing rod, more fishing skill will make that a little more manageable. Drink the Joja Cola, get all uh, antsy in the pantsy here. Yeah, we'll probably play a couple more days tonight, I think. Hmm, not feeling uh, totally, totally tired yet. Hey, it rained! I didn't even check the weather report. Alright, how's my fortune? Spirits are in good humor! Okay, nice, nice, nice. Well, now's probably the perfect time to head down the old mines, with or without our transistor radio. It uh, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter all that much. Should have some uh, some delicious cheese ready. I'll probably take that down into the mines with me. Yeah, 125 energy, 56 health. That's good stuff. Stardew Valley knows cheese is awesome. I can, you know what, I'm going to make a few cherry bombs. If I need them, I need them. Feeling much better about my chances today. We'll also get a lot of iron ore. I have the uh, copper pickaxe, so it'll be a lot easier to break the rocks. Um, yeah, feel good about our chances. We'll get to 45 today, for sure. Unless something goes horrifically and hilariously wrong. Oh, yeah. See, this is, this is what good luck gets you. Thermal boots. One defense, two immunity. Yeah, all right. Rocking our snow boots. Put that in the trash right away. Oh. 
Oh god, it's immune to the Cabadon tactics. How could Senpai possibly be this hentai? The Cabadon has no effect. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's... Oh, uh, that, that was a waste of cheese. That was a waste of cheese. fuzz balls. Later on in the game, these are actually a fantastic source of coal. You don't, uh, like really late in the game, your limiting factor on the number of uh, bars you can smelt is often coal. Like, you don't get a lot of it in the later dungeons, so you have to come back to these levels and murder these little guys. Let's do that. Oh god, the slimes are mating. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do, but oh well. Hmm. Oh, I blew up the frozen tear. I didn't know you could do that. That's a bummer. Man, this dagger sucks. Okay. It's not a clean death for these monsters. I almost feel bad. I would feel bad if they weren't in the process of giving me a very unclean death. Alright. Nice. All right, so progress saved. We'll we'll see if we can get a little get a little deeper. Aquamarine, very nice, very pretty. Ooh, emerald. Let's go. Come on. I was kind of expecting this dagger to crit more often. Your crit chance in this game, though, if you don't stack it, it's pretty abysmal. Alright. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll blow this up. Yep, sure enough. Gonna make a push for floor 50, I'm probably gonna disregard the rest of this room. Yeah. So yeah, definitely need, need a new weapon. Need a new weapon for sure. I might stop by the Adventurer's Guild, see if they got one on sale. And again, I think if I get to 50, it's going to have a chest. Maybe maybe the chest will have a useful weapon in it. You never know. Oh, yeah. Look at the slime. Look at the slime. Prime Cabadon position. And I fuck it up. 
Because of course I do. Oh my god. Cabadont! Hold on. Need to eat some cheese here. There we go. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Just got the ladder right there. Wish they were all like this. Yeah. Try and get out of here at a reasonable time. I need that for a bundle. Uh, next cape carrot I drop for sure. Save that for the community center bundle. All right, you triple looking bastards, let's go. I am trouble for tribbles. Leaving. Tundra Boots. What are we looking at here? Two defense, one immunity. Or I could do one defense, two immunity. Uh, I think uh, most of the most of the stuff getting thrown at us is uh, is physical, which is what defense mitigates. So yeah, we'll go with that. Could afford a silver saber, could afford a pirate sword, a cutlass, wood mallet, hmm. Claymore, it's really heavy, it's really, really heavy. Could also grab a ring, um, ooh, more defense. Crit strike chance by 10%, is that additive or mul multiplicative, I wonder? Um, I'm most used to using, uh, clubs. Solid head pecs punch, relatively light for a club, yeah. Yeah, that's actually a pretty decent amount of speed on that. Yeah, we'll pick up the mallet. Yeah, how about the topaz ring? Groovy. Old Gil ain't impressed yet. Um, alright. So, I actually have a little bit of time. A little bit of time and a lot of energy. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll fish at the lake for some of the, uh, some of the bundle fish. I think I can still catch bass in the summer. We'll see. Well, hello, Abigail. It's, um, yeah, enjoying yourself? I guess so. Oh no, I, I won't fish at the lake because I don't have my fishing rod with me. Whoopsies. Yeah, let's start making iron bars. Let's 
spitting bars. Mm, yeah. Check the back cave here, see what we got. It's a really odd place for the back cave. I'm not used to it. Usually the bat cave is kind of up on the uh, northwest, like on the standard farm. Yeah, it's kind of in the northwest corner ish. Alright, in we go. Yeah. Actually, let me retrieve my equipment before I forget about it. Groovy. Well, for mining, transmute iron and a glowstone ring would have been genuinely useful on that uh, on that dark floor. Hey, no one's supposed to know where the bat cave is. Was the uification complete, or did you manage to stave off the corruption? I uh, don't know what you are you are talking about. I am a perfectly normal idol. Ooh, ooh. A green rain has descended upon the valley. Oh, well, you know, we had a nice run. Uh, we had a nice run. It's the end of days. Welcome to the green hell. Um, what the, what the fuck is this? No, we, we, Space Lord, he's been infect, infected, initiate glue factory protocol. <laughs> uh, you will never take me alive. Um. <laughs> no, uh, we managed to defeat Laplace Darkness and prove that we are the, uh, the cutest idol. Saw the weather report last night. I'm not sure what will happen, but if anyone wants to take shelter in the saloon, I'll keep it open all day, Gus. Okay. Maybe the Jolly Green Giant squeezed one out. That's kind of what it feels like. Kind of what it feels like. All of the nature is growing quickly. Um, yes. Some magic fuckery is afoot. It's basically the, uh, the, the main idea of what's going on here. <laughs> I kind of wish I checked the weather last night. I would have uh, been interested to see what they were saying. Oh my god, look at these. What the fuck? What the? Oh my god. Is that... Are these... Are these normal trees? More like <laughs> Cheetle's Captain Planet. There you go. Yeah, it's a normal tree. You want to go green, motherfucker? <laughs> Alright. Oh, God. Everything has, like, a green tinge. This is new. I have not seen this before. This actually feels a little bit like, um... A little bit like Sunhaven, where you have those disasters that occur on your farm every once in a while. I wonder if it's going to make my crops grow faster. We have like a Chernobyl event or something nearby. 
Am I going to be growing like uh, crazy irradiated crops? You meteor shiz. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, they're all covered in moss too. This is weird. This is a weird one. I might go into town and see if like people are gathering in the saloon. Mossy seed. This can be planted to grow rare wild trees. Okay, we'll hold on to that. Yeah, let's go to the saloon and see if people are, uh, oh my fucking god, what is, what is going on? Can I, like, cut you down? Yeah? Yeah. I don't even know what kind of tree this is supposed to be. Fiddlehead ferns. That was a that was a fern. Holy shit. Okay. Well, this is a thing. Does this happen? I, I wonder if this happens like every year at the same time, or if it's sort of like a, a random chance. She get the green hell, dude. <laughs> Everybody is hiding in here. <laughs> I just got off the phone with the governor. Apparently this rain is supposed to be completely harmless. Just an unusual phenomenon of nature. Still, some of the townsfolk are panicking, which is never good. Looks random and new, yeah. I hope these weird rains don't bother the fish. It could ruin me life, yeah? <laughs> it's a sign from the Almighty. We're doomed. Oh, uh, any reason to drink heavily, huh, Pam? You all right? We're all wondering what's going on. I brought some medical supplies just in case. Be careful out there. Uh, got anything for uh, radiation burns? Saw the weather report last night. It really gave me a scare. Are there monsters out there? What's happening? Let's not get in a tizzy now. I guess I propose a round of drinks to settle the nerves. Uh, at whose expense, Elliot? At whose expense? I noticed you said you're not covering it. I don't think I've ever set foot in this place. It's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't think Kaylee does ever come into the uh, bar. I'm not worried about the rain. I'm sure it'll pass. Situations like this where a person's true character is put to the test. I'll keep them... I mean, I'll keep everyone safe from the toxic rain. Yeah, not just Emily. There must be a meaning behind this. Nature is trying to tell us something. What, though? I can't tell. It's hard to read. I, I feel a strong presence, though. Yeah, you know what? Let's go see the wizard. Let's see what the wizard has to say about this. Hmm. Wonder if things are really crazy in the forest. We're off to see the wizard, correct. The uh, tolerable wizard of Pelican Town. Mm. We'll chop down these ferns, though. Normally don't get fiddlehead ferns until you uh, get into the... Uh, Get into the secret forest. Alright, Mr. Wizard, what do you have to say? Though the unusual rains may be alarming, there is nothing to fear on this day. Tomorrow, though, when it all runs off and, uh, and pools somewhere, that's when you gotta worry about the golems. <laughs> Don't need a wizard, you need a druid. Yeah, damn straight. It's kind of implied that you're supposed to be the, uh, the the Stardew Valley druid, basically. Maybe more of a shaman than a druid, but yes, you have a inexplicable strong connection to nature. Hmm. A 
couple of fern trees, that's nice. <laughs> hey there, traveling saleswoman. Welcome to Stardew Valley. Welcome to your doom. If you're not taking advantage of a disaster to uh, collect rare ingredients, what are you even doing? What are you even doing? Oh, let me see. Oh, I've got just what you need. Super Cucumber. That's actually a pretty decent price for Super Cucumber. I might pick that up. Parsnip Soup. Melons. Mead, red mullet, mahogany dresser, uh, should I pick up a rare seed? I'll pick up a rare seed. Hmm. Actually, what's this? Where's that tree? Yeah, over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Parsnip snoot, no, doesn't... Parsnip soup, no, doesn't that sound yummy? Oh, delicious. Could eat it all day, every day. On the, uh, on the gulag diet. It works. It very much works. You look at those fuckers in the gulag eating parsnip soup. None of them are fat. Never seen a skinny person drinking Diet Coke or a fat person eating parsnip soup. I wonder if everything's gonna just like go back to normal at the end of this. Is there something behind this tree? Oh, this is the teleport point. Wow. That's kind of obscured as well. shouldn't need more than 20. Snort Diet Coke, Diet Pure Sugar more like. No, there's no sugar. It's even worse. It's like uh, the sweetener is derived from the same thing they make formaldehyde out of. It's, it's way better for you. Way better for you. Okie dokie. Um, huh. I wonder what's on the TV. Is there like a disaster declaration on the TV or something? Let's see. Weather report. <laughs> Just dot dot dot. Okay. Okay. That is, is the TV offline. Yes, the TV. Okay. So this is why everyone is really panicking. The TV signal is down. <laughs>
Oh, hey. They cleared the path to the spa. How about that? wonder if nature is angry because we finally moved that big rock that was blocking, uh, you know, the train station, our only connection to the outside world. That's not true. We have a bus. Can you imagine the effing hysteria if that really happened? What, if the TV went down? Yeah. Honestly, the real hysteria would be if the internet went down at this point. I might not even notice if the TV went down, but if the internet went down? Yeah, you bet your ass panic is setting in. That in the green rain, yeah. Lost book. Found a lost book. The library's collection has been expanded. People not just uh not just not returning their library books, they're going to the trouble to bury them. Trying to bury their shame at uh, how overdue it is, perhaps. Alright. Grow rare wild trees. Got three of the mossy seeds. I guess I'll plant them. <laughs> Fascinating stuff. So yeah, the moss is new, but I'm pretty sure it's used in some crafting recipes. Uh, what else? Ton of fiber. Yeah, we'll we'll plant the mossy seeds. Why not? So all this can happen all over again. Sure, let's let's grow some moss trees over here. People oddly compelled to bury copies of Catcher in the Rye. Gee, I wonder why. I wonder why people might not want to be caught with that book. Oh my god. Oh, look at the... <laughs> oh, that's... Okay, so we're done, right? That was just like a one-day event. Seems like it. Weird. Storm is approaching. Thunder and lightning. Okay. Spirits feel neutral today. Let's talk corn. Unusual crop because it lasts for two seasons. That's right. While most crops die when the season changes, corn lives on. You can grow it in both summer and fall. Now get out there, plant some corn. Gentlemen. Behold... Corn! Okay, I got our first summer squash. That's very nice. Our poppies are ready, too. So I have 20 slots that I can fill. I feel like the summer bundle doesn't care about radishes. I can plant more. I have plenty of time if, if, if it does. Yeah, that's fascinating. I'm gonna have to check the wiki and see if this is just like a the green rains a random event or it happens on the on the seventh of summer every time. But yeah, the the shit storm if that actually happened in real life, my goodness. 
you know everyone would suspect that like a nuclear reactor melted down somewhere and you know with good reason with good reason that's probably where my my mind would go as well Oh, hey. Grew into a poppy. Very nice. Yeah. Many would believe it to be a sign from insert deity here. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the first thing I said when uh, when it when it happened. Right. Oh, end of days. That's where Pam's mind went. But again, Pam is probably just looking for an excuse to drink. Time for them to do what they want, <laughs> what they want to do. Yeah. Sign from Satan to do as thou wilt. Getting spoiled by all the stormy days we've had recently. I haven't had to water the crops in a little while. and wet see those glistening leaves in the summer sun oh baby iridium sprinklers yeah that's 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 the correct answer honestly uh, now that I have some uh, now that I have some iron I think I can oh no I need gold bars too for quality sprinklers uh, yeah the regular sprinkler is not really worth it in my opinion we'll hold out for quality sprinklers that's that's a nice easy pattern you know can build around it, no problem. Okay, so let's go get some more seeds. I need eight here, I need 12 there, so 20 total. Hmm. So let me check the community center first. Make sure I didn't screw up by selling all my radishes. Hello, Harvey. It's okay to get a moderate amount of sunlight, just don't get burnt. My dad was telling me something the other day that I found really, really... Kind of, like, hard to believe, but... I mean, he is a, he is a medical professional, so, like, I... I guess... I guess I, 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 I take his word for it, but, um... He said, like... So, like, sunlight gives you vitamin D. That's common knowledge. Um, but what they've found out is apparently the sunlight needs to actually, like, hit your head. 
So if you're wearing like a big hat or something that completely obscures, you know, shadows your face and all of that, you're actually not going to get vitamin D from being out in sunlight, even if you uh, have exposed skin elsewhere. At least that's what I heard. Um, so yes, apparently, apparently the sunlight actually needs to hit your head for you to uh, absorb some vitamin D from it. Sounds, sounds like a, uh, sounds like voodoo. Focus, focus. I don't know. Again, my my father is a medical professional, so uh, and I can usually tell when he's uh, bullshitting me. He did he did not appear to be bullshitting me, so. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm holding out for good sprinklers. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. All right. Um. Oh right. Fucking seeds. Totally forgot. Just had to make sure I wasn't screwing myself by selling the radishes. Yes, sun has to hit the skin directly. <laughs> I know what you're imagining. I know what you're imagining. No, it needs to hit the head directly. Apparently, is uh, is what uh, is what I've been told. Monsters known as Dust Sprite are throwing the elemental balance into disarray. I would like an adventure to enter the mine. Say seventeen. Oh, that's a lot. Um. I mean, we are on that level of the mines. We're going to run into some dust sprites. You know, we'll, we'll pick it up. We'll give it a shot. Alright, what do I want to do? Could do some sunflowers. Yeah, why not? We'll do that last line of sunflowers. And then grab... Hmm. Radishes, spangles, I guess. Hops are useless until I have a keg. They're actually worse than useless because they're a vine crop, so it blocks your access to other stuff. Um, just do more radishes, I guess. Hmm. Uh, sure, we'll do the spangles. I think the Spangles are not a great profit, but whatever. We do need to ship everything to get an achievement. <laughs> hmm. Thinking maybe I'll head down the mines and start working on the dust sprites. I think the dust sprites are the little, uh, little tribble looking things so yeah destroying 17 of those it's doable it's doable How did the moss harvest go? Hehe, <laughs> my bed is a lot softer now. Okay, so Linus was expecting this. Linus, I really wish you hadn't destroyed that spice berry I was about to pick up, though. For someone allegedly in tune with nature, that wasn't very hippie of you. Okay, so yeah, let me let me see if the quest increments, if these are in fact uh, dust sprites. Yep, sure enough. It's cool that it has a little tracker now. Come here, come here, don't run away. Oh, 
A glow ring. Now I too can glow in the dark. Just like the people gang stalking me. <laughs> Just like the federal agents monitoring all of us. Three letter agent glows so bright. Oh yeah, the Cabadon method, real efficient here. Oh wow. Well, coffee bean, nice. Ghostfish, sweet. I think that's actually one of the uh, exotic fishing targets. Some new ideas to sleep on, new murder ideas. Well, from the standpoint of wanting to finish our dust sprite sla slaying quest, this was actually a very fortunate room. Actually, I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy we got the ghost fish to drop from the ghost. He must have just come back from fishing. Before we killed his ass again. Turn around, turn around, bud. Only reason you don't turn around is when Der Commissar is in town, and I don't I don't see him anywhere. There we go. Nice. Might actually yeah, we'll make the next floor. Or we'll make the next uh, elevator floor, that is. Seven more dust sprites. Easily done. In fact, might do it right here. Just depending on what's on this floor. Come on. Give me a few more tribbles to exterminate here. Well, unfortunately. Well, we'll come back tomorrow. That'll be real easy. Yeah, probably we'll do, uh, we'll do, we'll do one day after this, so. Tomorrow will be the last day we play tonight on, on this stream, but I, I feel like it's been a pretty productive stream. We've, we've got our crops set up, we're, uh, we're making some cheese. <laughs> we, we dealt with the, uh, we dealt with the green hell apocalypse. A good day altogether.
Level 3 combat, plus 5 HP and you can make Root Splatter. God, now I have to Commissar stuck in my head. That's awful. Not worth the joke. Not worth a freaking 80s music joke. It'll be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Alright. Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. Alright. Hot pepper is one of the things I need to drop off at the uh, community center, so we'll do that on our on our way to the mines today. Oops. Very nice, very nice. What good chimkins. I feel like, didn't he talk about uh, giving you a way to see the uh, bundles from, from wherever? Maybe not. It's either a large white egg or a large brown egg that I needed to turn in. Alright. We'll take the other one down the mine. Oh, there's the, uh, <laughs> there's the moss tree. Plant that nice and close to the barn so it can do horrible things to our cows when it sprouts. Seen enough hentai to know where this one's going. It's actually a, it's a good cultured question. Do we prefer do we prefer plant tentacles or octopus tentacles for uh, for the content? You know, I'm actually I'm I'm sort of partial to the to the plants myself. Especially when the uh, when the sap has you know the mind altering qualities, it could be pretty good. It can be pretty good. All right, so I think there's like yeah, like an exotic fish bundle, specialty fish. Yeah, there we go. Ghost fish goes in there. Um, the solar essence is gonna go down here. We have like the white, it's either a white or a brown egg. I forget which one I did. They want a white egg, okay. And a hot pepper, there you go. Cool. Try to push to level 60 here. Actually, the halfway point of the mine. Keep 
try and do a, do my special move before it's ready. Gonna come up one short. Oh well. Again, these things are pretty common, so I'm sure we'll run into another. Right? Right. Surely. Go. Anything cool down here? No, not really. There they are. Nice. Make us a thousand smackaroos for murdering tribbles. Oh no, I got possessed! Keep your filthy ghost hands off my soul. Bastard. <laughs> Proper bomb. I think it's not a very good luck day, so probably shouldn't expect too much iron, but we'll get to level 60. Cool, let's see what else we got on this level here. Like a whole lot of nothing. Nothing but a bunch of flying enemies coming at me. No, I don't think I'll be dealing with that. Thank you. <laughs> God, it's like it's like bouncing a beach ball around. Sometimes you want it to come back to you just a little easier than that. There we go. some winter forage that dropped from that one. That's cool. Save me a little bit of trouble there if I turn it in at the community center. Some Jade. Reminds me that I really do need to play Jade Empire sometime. Maybe when I'm done playing my current uh, Bioware game, I'll get into Jade Empire. <laughs> yeah, current Bioware game being Mass Effect. Well, Mass Effect 3. Still haven't quite decided if I'm uh, if I'm brave enough to uh, attempt uh, Andromeda. Maybe someday when I'm feeling a little desperate for content. Um, I really kind of dislike these, uh, dislike these spiral rooms. So I think we will just not deal with the rest of it. Groovy. A crystal dagger. No, you, you cannot make me interested in using a dagger again. Sorry. Two crit chance, 50 crit power, five weight. Nope. Nope, 
You're you're not gonna make me. You cannot make me. Then here's where you'd normally catch catch a ghost fish, but we got the rare drop from the ghost itself, so I see no reason to bother. I think the community center wants 10 bat wings, so we might be able to do that. We'll turn in the winter route. Probably just sell off the crystal dagger here. Actually building up some cash. I should probably uh, should probably look into expanding one of the buildings on my farm or, or building a new one. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll talk to Robin tomorrow. It'll be next stream. I doubt I'll remember to do it, but it's a good thought. It's a good thought. If you come to ridicule me, yeah, Linus, that that leaf shirt you're wearing is ridiculously fashionable. Just minding my own business. I feel like uh, Mugatu wants you for his uh, for his derelict fashion line be the next big thing. Oh shit, I was gonna stop by the community center. Okay. I can do this. Can turn in the cheese too. Um I want to hold on to most of this. <laughs> yep, I've outgrown the... I've outgrown my chest. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, you remember what tomorrow is, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's already... It's already started on Japanese Twitter. A lot of the Hollow Life girls have done stuff already. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for the reminder though. It's uh always kind of a pain in the ass when you bumble into that and forget what day it is. Okay. So yeah, a couple things to drop off at the community center. I think do they just want uh, do they just want 10 bat wings for the uh, adventures bundle they do okay we can do that small magnet ring hey that's a pretty good one The, the villager requests. Yeah, these are the real nasty ones. Okay, I can actually turn in a fiddlehead fern, though. We'll grow another poppy to make mocky roll fried egg. Yeah, this one this one can be handled pretty. The internet started early trying to tell me Oregon banned farming and Biden canceled Easter for drag queen. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that last one, he, he, he did put out a, uh, he did put out a proclamation. Easter was not canceled, but it was co-opted. We could, we, 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 we could put it that way. Fodder bundle, yeah, this one's easy. Three apples is a little bit of a pain, but yeah, wheat, hay. Not a big deal. Here's the pain in the ass. This rabbit's foot. So yeah, I need to, uh, I think I need to upgrade my coop ASAP. 
Rabbit's foot is a pain in the ass. Um, Nautilus shell can be kind of hard to get to. Oh, I need a chub for this one. Okay. Frozen geode I have. Some of these can be a pain too. All right. We need, we need to remember to use the sunflower for this. I have an aquamarine already. The red cabbage. This is the one that can make it impossible to do this in the first year. Because uh, you only get red cabbage seeds in the second year. Uh, so the only possibility is for you to get lucky and the trader is selling some red cabbage seeds. Or just red cabbage itself. So this is the one that makes it uh, can make it impossible to finish the community center in the first year. Yeah, duck feather is a little bit of a pain too. But not too bad. Not too bad. It's not as bad as I remember it being. Um, right, animal products here. No? You don't want cheese? Oh, you want it for the artisan bundle. Yeah, there we go. It has to be a joke, right? Chicks gun collection. <laughs> uh, no step on snake. Um, and the magnet ring's pretty cool. We'll, we'll hold on to that. I'm gonna have to start sorting my uh gonna have to start sorting my chest here. Let's uh I've run out of space. I've officially run out of storage space. checked. Yep, gonna be clear tomorrow. <clears throat> All right, so I think here's a great place to leave it off. Thank you all so much for coming out. I had a lot of fun. Hope you did too. Little sad that a uh, squid fest is not occurring until winter again, but uh, <coughs> hey, we got mossy green hell instead. That was uh, that was exciting. So yeah, uh, I'll be uh, again endeavoring to put out a schedule tomorrow that will cover uh, cover the rest of uh, next week, but it should be a good one. I'm I'm planning to do a lot of good streams. Should be a should be a very full week of streaming. I'll I'll put it that way. I'm I've been toying with the idea of going up to six days a week. Um, so I might try it out. Might try it out this week. We'll see. Uh, anyways, uh, thank you all so much for coming out once again. Uh, that's going to do it for me. I will see you again on Tuesday, probably same time as usual. And until next time, Amiki, I bid you wale. Take very good care of yourselves. Enjoy the start of your week. And yeah, I'm out of things to say. So uh, it's a good sign. It's time to end it. Later.